Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to look at another vintage Lego set. This is from before the minifigure or pre minifigure era. It is from 1974. It is the heliport, like helicopter, heliport, instead of airport, heliport. It's set 560. It has 218 pieces. Like I said, it came out in 1974. No minifigures, not minifigure scale. You're not going to be fitting in that door. <laughs> it's like, um, what's that, Alice in Wonderland or something. So, nope, not going to fit in there. But you get two vehicles, a helicopter, and a police car that we've seen in other sets. And it makes this little airport heliport with an air, air traffic control tower. It has the sidewalks. Has the area for the helicopter to land and for the car, the police car to park. So didn't take long to build. Only takes a few minutes to really to build it. Even with the 218 pieces, they just go right on there. So not much to it. The base plate here did have uh, white dots on it to show you where to start, which is as as I've said in other videos with the white dot baseboards, they're great for helping you get started with the actual model but it's a drawback when you want to make your own mock using the base plate. A lot of the classic vintage style windows in this set, the the two by or the one by six by two or three, whatever, by two, and then the big windows here, the old style doors. It does have all these tiles you see, these two by two grays that make up the sidewalk in the parking area. And then the one by twos, they're all the kind, these vintage kind that have no groove. Which makes them really hard to um, separate from the plate. Uh, and that's why I think they put the groove on later. It has the P sign, P in is okay here. It has the eight prong antenna, which is very common for it to be broken. And if you think, I said we've seen this police car before. <laughs> He's got the printing there. Police, police. I have another one. It's the same one from the police headquarters set 575, plus he appeared in other sets as well. The helicopter has that S21, which is common on a lot of different sets. It has the police on it. It's a 1x6 brick there, another 1x6. But the S21 1x8 only has S21 on one side. Move the blade where you can see it. There you go. So there's the landing pad, it's black and yellow tiles, you got the red along the edge. And I think my favorite piece in the whole thing is the one that says Legoland. Because these were basically Legoland town sets, it doesn't say that on the box, but um, that's what they are. Let me move this extra car out of the way. So see, it didn't take long to see the whole set, right? Let's lower down to a, a, a ground level view. All right, when we get down here, we can see how it's raised up above the first level. I'm not sure what all that is accomplishing. I honestly sometimes wonder what the um, those early Lego designers were thinking. Uh, then again, I have to remember they're looking at architecture from the mid-70s and things like that, and styles from the 70s, so you can't compare it to today. But... Even taking that away, they put a lot of the same vehicles <laughs> in different sets. I, even when I was do, later in the 90s, there's Paradisa sets that had the exact same vehicles in different sets. But here in the 70s, they did a lot of times so with these police cars, even helicopters, ambulances. Uh, so when we today get a new set that's a new truck or a new police car, or a new fire truck, or a new ambulance, at least they're making them different. But back when I was a kid, they seemed to make them the same. But uh, that's that's just my little thing. Uh, I still love this set. I uh, always wanted it as a kid. Wanted to put it in my city with my other two buildings I had, but, but we never got it. So let me slide that aside, and we're going to now look at the instructions in the box. Now here is the classic 
Lego box from the mid 70s with the the brick bar on the side, the classic Lego logo, plain letters, <laughs> shows you what set it is, 560. It says for younger children we recommend preschool. And and then the back shows alternate builds. And this was only the second year that you had these um Lego sets being produced in Connecticut instead of by Samsonite. I have the parts list in there when I was verifying to make sure I had everything. But you can use the box for storage. So that was, that was a good box. Not easy to fold up. Here is the instructions. And this is also common with the color photo with other sets kind of in the background. They did that. But 1973 is when this instruction was actually produced. So maybe I was wrong. I said 74 might have been 73. I had a, you know, they, they usually produce those sets over several years. I had a, um, a 1974 catalog in there. How do you know this is an ambulance? And if we open it as I tear the pages. Isn't that lovely? I got several of these. But the, here's the sets from 1974. Fire station. Conveyor station. I think I've already reviewed that. Reviewed that. I know I reviewed that. We're reviewing that. Got that. There's that police car. Say they even sold it as a separate set. Rescue units, forklift, wrecker with car. We reviewed that. I don't think we've reviewed the steam shovel with carrier, but I do have it. So I think once I do that, we'll have everything on this page covered. I've even got the Universal Motor set number 900. Back, I don't quite have all those uh, because it's got these rare, <laughs> and I do mean rare, Duplo sets. It's very hard to find Duplo sets from the 70s because uh, nobody kept them and the kids chewed the boxes up and ate all the pieces. But I do have these. So I got all these. Don't have these three. So basically I got everything that's in this catalog or pamphlet except for the three Duplo sets. <laughs> And uh, they have some unusual pieces, too, these Duplo sets. But I'm not worried about getting those. Don't worry. Well, thanks for looking at this vintage Lego set with me. Um, yes, kids, I understand. It's not as cool as the stuff you got today. But go back in time, 40 years ago, to 1974. This was awesome. This was better than play school. This was be better than American Bricks. This was better than even Lincoln Logs, if you ask me. And I had Lincoln Logs. So I was happy as a six-year-old to see this stuff in the stores. And we did get our hands on a few sets. But I never did get this one until the 21st century. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at this. I like it. Like the video. Love your Lego history. Keep collecting. Thanks for watching. It's Brickzar.